In this new video series here, we're going to show you what we think is probably our very best bathroom remodeling to date here. So we are going to show you how we took this old 1983 ugly bathroom with ugly wallpaper and convert this ugly duckling into a beautiful spring swan. We're going to show you how this ugly old bathroom turns into this beautiful resort style bathroom. And it all starts right now. Jeff here and welcome back to the channel where we give you world-class advice on how to remodel your homes, your kitchens, and your bathrooms. And in this series that we're starting here today here, we're showing you everything about remodeling the bathroom. And let me just warn you ahead of time, folks, we don't give you these little five minute short Home Depot perfect world videos, you know. We show you everything that goes on. We show you all of the mistakes the builders make. We show you all of the mistakes that handymen make. And we show you all the mistakes that everybody who touched that bathroom before you arrive make. You are going to see what we see when we see it. We're taking you inside the vortex with us. So you're going to see the toughest engineering issues that happen here. So this bathroom had leaks behind the wall. This bathroom had broken pipes underneath the slab, beneath the shower, in between the crawl space between our unit and the unit downstairs from us. We had to address that too. So we'll show you how to fix every single thing that could possibly go wrong when you're remodeling a bathroom. Moving on into the master bedroom vanity suite here. We can see it's not in that bad a shape, but we're still gonna put in a nice one. We're gonna upgrade to a dual vanity. And really what bathroom would be complete without your one and a half gallon gas can. The master closet is good size. It's a six by six walk-in. So this is very helpful to have a walk-in closet this big. We're gonna put a nice closet set up in here too. Get rid of these stupid wire racks. I've never been a fan of these. They fall out of the walls too. You have to really be careful with how you bolt them into the studs. And then here into the tiny little master bath, they have a standard ugly shower. That's all coming out and we're going to put all new shower with fancy tiles and niche in. And this little wall here, we don't know what's on the other side of it. I suspect it may be empty or it might have some plumbing to go to the other, the downstairs unit. We're not sure. But we're going to take a look and see if we can move it, make it bigger. And there's the toilet. This is all going to come out. We're going to put a new high-end toilet in here and redo all of the tiling. And here we are in the master bath. We finally pulled the shower base unit out of there. And what you're looking at here is the insulation that's on the exterior wall. And then back around this side here are the pipes coming from the neighbor's unit downstairs. And this is our shower pipe right here. That's the vent the vent pipes coming from their bathroom fans. Now we discovered a little problem here when we pulled up the shower stall. And we're gonna try to take a look down in there and see. Oh yeah, see there it is. Well, we're not sure if it's the builder's fault or what the deal is, but you can see what happened there. The PVC pipe broke. So we're gonna have to see what we can do to get it fixed. Probably shouldn't be too bad. You're probably looking at a few hundred bucks. Here in the master vanity area, we're patching up the walls after we had the plumbing done here, the, the rough end. 
Now here's something, here's a head scratcher here. So you see this hodgepodge mess at the bottom here? What the heck is this? What idiot did something this unbelievably stupid and totally mishmashed hodgepodge of God knows what here? Well, it turns out when you look really close there, that's the pipe, I guess, that leads down to the neighbor's stack downstairs, and somehow they either put the pipe in the wrong place or the wall in the wrong place. And in order to hide it or protect it or whatever, they had to build out this stupid little metal thing here, which is made, it's framed up of the stud, the base of the stud, the, basically you would call it the floor plate, and they poured in cement, and I don't know what they have this angle iron in there for, probably to reinforce or hold the cement in place, who knows what, but what a pathetic, disgusting joke. And on top of that, they left this big old hole right here. Nice going, guys, nice. What kind of idiot does this, and at the end of the day says, yep, that's a day's work right there. So now, because of that, we have to cut a corner in the, in the back corner of our beautiful vanity that we just paid big money for. More destruction in the master bathroom. And now here we are entering the master bathroom where I am doing some dry fitting of the 18 inch travertine tiles. And uh, you can see we pretty much have a even dual course going down here. And then of course this is where the toilet goes. There's the flange for the toilet. And during the dry fitting we discovered that we have to cut. So I've already marked my two tiles that need to be cut. Now we got lucky in the other bathroom. We didn't have to cut um, other, more than just one tile and we got even luckier because the other cut ended up in the middle of the tile. But here Alas, we have to cut two tiles. No big deal. I'll just use my angle grinder with the diamond blade on it. And uh, this is something that happens a lot with flanges. This is because the idiot builder that built this place 35 years ago, if you can see it, it wiggles too much there because they never bolted it down to the concrete. And that, that just shows pure laziness and stupidity on the part of whoever did this install. And they're supposed to be professional plumbers and it was, should, should have been inspected. But here, 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 and here is the four holes where you're supposed to put four blue Tapcon screws. And of course, since whoever made this hole screwed up and made it too big, there's really only enough meat to hold two of the screws. And so somebody was even too lazy to do that. So we're going to come in before we put the toilet back. We're going to put these two screws back into place. And at least you'll have a solid toilet. So if you ever have a toilet that's shifting side to side or moving around and you wonder why, that's why. It's because whoever put it in and didn't tap con down the flange. And then also you can notice since we're using half inch thick travertine, by the time we're done these travertine tiles are going to be about an inch above the floor. So we've bought these extension rings that we that look just like this top plate here. They'll pile on top of this and then we'll put our ring around that on the top And looking back around here, of course, here's we got the toilet sitting here in the shower. And we're going to be putting our hardy board on the shower here next week. While we're here in the shower, I want to show you something here. This is something the builder did, total idiotic, when they built this place 35 years ago. If you can look right up here, you can see that light. That light is up in the attic. It's never put any drywall up here on this part inside the cavity in the shower. So for 35 years, it's been extremely hot behind this wall here, which is the shower wall on the master bathroom. And also the shower wall on the guest bathrooms on the opposite side here. So for 35 years, it was super humid here and hot behind this wall, which is why this AC register over here up in the ceiling was sweating and dripping down on the floor that was here before. And it came down in here and it caught in this corner here and it rusted out the bottom of, of the, that's the corner of the, the corner bead for the drywall. So simple failure modes that turn devastating because somebody doesn't do something very simple. We're going to have to stitch that up with all sorts of pieces of drywall and shoot in some uh, fun fun to fill in the voids afterwards. And so since they shot in the cellulose fiberglass up there in the attic, the insulation, a lot of it came down this wall here when we 
gutted these walls that we spent two hours vacuuming up all of that stuff. So here we are in the neighbor's bathroom and we've cut open the hole in the ceiling downstairs from our unit. So now we're looking right up in there and there's where the broken pipe is. See that? Right there. Oh yeah. And there is the plumbing stack that it plugs into. So the stack is okay. We're gonna just to cement in a new pipe there. And then it's gonna come right over here to our our opening, which is right there. This was the old pipe that broke. Now just a reminder, down in the video description below, we'll put links to any of the other videos in the series before and after. So as the series develops here over the next few videos here, you'll be able to go back and forth between the different videos. And we'll also put it in the thumbnails at the very end of the video there. You'll be able to click on the thumbnails up ahead there. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. And if you're finding it helpful, hey, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below there for us. And make sure you click on that subscribe button down there as well. And don't forget to hit that little gray bell icon as well. Because if you don't hit that gray bell icon, YouTube will not tell you when we upload a video and you'll miss it. We'll have videos going up there and you'll never even know about it. Like it never even happened. So make sure you do that. And thanks for tuning in folks. And we'll see you on the next one.